Ethan Allen is doing more than spring cleaning, replacing 70% of its product line with new designs by this fall. I'm joined by Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Farooq Kothwari, who just rang the opening bell here at the New York Stock Exchange. So Farooq, tell me first about these new designs. I understand there's several phases of them. Uh, exactly. You know, we have done many, many uh, reinventions. This one is major because we are changing 70% of our offerings. We started it last fall, introduced products in um, uh, September, October, November. The next one is going to be introduced starting in April, that is at the end of March, April, it'll get into our design centers. And the third one, the, the next phase, is going to be introduced to the consumers of fall of this year. Now these products reflect, um, you know, they're, they're great classic designs, both romantic and what I call modern classics. They are great quality, great style, and today, you know, fashion uh, means not only great style, but it's got also to be relaxed and livable. So what made now the right time for such a massive undertaking? You know, there is, the timing is right. Consumer I I attitudes are changing. Today, the impact of globalization, commoditization, technology is actually creating almost two attitudes in consumers. On one hand, you have a consumer that is a user. They really want to use it and throw it away. But then more and more people are interested in becoming an owner. They want good quality. And on top of it, they want service, but they want service of knowledgeable people. You know, we have 1,500 interior designers. And they're great interior designers. Today, you just can't give mediocre service because mediocrity means you're not going to even want to have service. So when you combine these offerings, when you combine the service and quality, and top of it, the other major reinvention we are doing is we are bringing back manufacturing to the United States. It's almost 70% of all these products are going to be made in our plants in North America. Now, that is a major, major change. You know, short term, it would say, give up all manufacturing, go overseas, but we are bringing it back. And now we are exporting it back to the rest of the world. So we have now 75 locations in China. We have opened up a number of design centers in other parts of the country, although our main market is still North America. So what is your view and your outlook on not just the American consumer, but the furniture retail environment here? I mean, we are seeing consumers go to places like Home Depot to spend money on fixing up their homes. What about the furniture retail outlook itself? I think it's, it is good. Consumers, are they're optimistic, but they are somewhat conservative. After the Great Recession, people are thinking everything a little bit more carefully, which is good, because which means they've got to look at quality. They've got to look at great value. So I think homes are becoming more of an important, I would say a haven, because in this world of technology, in this world of uncertainties, people are, that's why they are spending money in improving their home improvements, and home furnishings comes next.